everyone and welcome back to another video. We're going to start off the year with our annual tutorial. That's right, we're going to show you guys how to install mods in Minecraft. Once again, uh, we're going to be jumping into the newest version of 1.19.3 and I'm show you guys all the steps on installing everything from updating your Java, um, installing Forge or Fabric and downloading mods and getting it running. So it's a little bit of a process, so stick around. Try to watch the video all the way through. The biggest question I get asked when I upload these videos is, is this safe or will I get viruses? And the short answer is no. Um, if you follow the instructions from beginning to end, you will not get any kind of viruses or bugs or anything along those lines. I've been using Forge for forever. I mean, since it's been available and I've never gotten a virus on my computer because of it. Uh, I'm not saying it's your fault, but it does happen because things are easily un uh, clicked on on some of these pages because they used to be really, really shady, but now they're a little less because that's just the nature of the internet, right? So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna update our Java. If you didn't know, Minecraft runs on Java. It's a Java-based uh, game. And um, as I misspelled Java, <laughs> java.com, um, we're gonna update our, our uh, Java. We'll just go to java.com. So we're gonna click on download Java. It's going to give us a little license agreement, and then you're going to say download Java. And I download everything to the desktop because it forces me to put it in folders. If I put everything in my downloads folder, which most people do, um, my downloads folder ends up getting really, really full because I forget about it. So that's just me. That's my weird quirk. So I downloaded it to the desktop, and it's sitting right here. I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to run that. And it's going to give... Give me a, a prompt. Do you want to allow this to make changes to your device? And I'm going to say yes. And it's going to give me a little prompt here. Um, update license term, change destination folder. No, I'm going to leave it to the standard one. And I'm going to say install. And it's going to run through the little installation process. And it may give me a couple more prompts at the end. All right, you have successfully installed Java. Moving, moving on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to install uh, Forge. So we're going to type in into the search box. Just type in Forge Minecraft. And you're going to get the first thing here. It's going to be the file uh, files.minecraftforge.net is the website. And it's going to take you to uh, the, the main installation page, which happens to be the, the latest version of Minecraft. And I'm going to click on installer. So we're going to wait for this countdown clock to, cl to count down from five to, to skip. <laughs> uh, don't click on anything on this page. This page is all ads. Uh, it won't really do anything. Uh, some of it will force jump open uh, a bunch of windows it's really a pain in the butt, so don't click on anything other than skip. And then it's going to take me to uh, a prompt that says save as. And again, I'm going to save it to my desktop, forge-1.19.3, and that's the latest version, and I'm going to say save. In a few seconds, I'm going to see it pop up on my desktop. Because my internet's slow. There it is, right here. And I'm going to go ahead and close this add focus window. And I'm going to minimize this. And I'm going to close Minecraft for now. All right, so here's your installer, right? For most people, all you have to do is double click it and it'll give you a prompt to install. It'll be this prompt right here. But this right here is what I get because some computers for whatever reason won't recognize, actually I know the reason, but some computers won't recognize the jar file as a pertinent installation file, which mine does not. And I need to go through and correct it, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna show you this because a lot of people have the same issue. It's not just me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rename this to make it simple for me, or I, I can just copy and paste it. It doesn't really make a difference. So I'm going to call it forge-1993 for, sorry, 193 for 19.3 install. Then I'm going to highlight all of it. I'm going to say control C or right click and copy. So now I'm going to go into this search window down here. And I'm going to type in, I'm going to type in command and I'm going to open up the command prompt. If you're on a Mac, if you open up the finder in Mac right here, it's going to open up the same thing. It's going to be terminal, right? Uh, you're going to search for terminal. So this is going to open up my, uh, my prompt right here, user slash, and then part, a portion of my name here. And then I'm going to type in CD space desk desktop, because that's the folder I want. If I go to right here, and I type in directory, it's going to give me all the directories on my computer. 
And then the one I want to put it in right now is desktop. So I'm going to go CD, CD space desktop. And it's going to put me in my desktop. Then I'm going to type in this string exactly. And I'm going to paste this in the comment section below or in the uh, description below. You can copy and paste this. You don't have to retype it. It's Java space dash jar space. And I'm going to hit control V or, or right click paste. I can write, th there it is. It automatically pastes it for me if I right click. That's the, the file I just renamed right there. And what this is doing is telling me to run this file through Java and install it. So I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to open up my launcher. This is the launcher that you would get if you normally just double click uh, the Forge installer. But I'm going to go ahead and say install client. I'm not, a, I'm not doing a server. A server is a different animal altogether. And the location, it's going to find my Minecraft folder automatically. And I'm going to say OK. Remember, you do have to have Minecraft installed. Make sure it's closed at this point, by the way. All right. Successfully installed. Blah, blah, blah. And I can close this and close this. And quite honestly, I could delete both of these files right now. All right. So now we're going to go open up Minecraft. And we're going to set up an instance for... The version of Minecraft we just installed, the version of Forge we just installed. It's right here automatically, but sometimes it's not. So I go to installations right here. And if it's not in this area here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and install a new one. I'm going to call it uh, Forge 1.19.3. Um, and then latest version. Uh, no, we're going to go ahead and pick the latest install, which is this uh, release 1.193 Forge. Uh, 44.1.5 just so I know it's the latest version and then for me I choose a different directory but you can leave yours the default directory that's fine so I put mine all my stuff into a different drive altogether and I'm going to call it inst dash forge dash uh, space 1.19.3 that's what I call my yours doesn't have to be this <laughs> this is just where I want my things to be so I'm going to click on more options down here and, and if you have if you know how much RAM on your computer you have, um, you may want to upgrade this. So if you have 16 gigs of RAM on your computer, which is pretty average for most machines, uh, you want to upgrade this to probably 6 or 8. Um, I have 64, so I'm going to set this to 16. Uh, again, it just depends on how much RAM you have. Like I said, most people have 16. You can, give, you can allocate about half of that, um, just under half of that to Minecraft, which is okay. As long as you're not running a bunch of stuff in the background. And I'm going to say create. And we're going to go back to play. And I'm going to click on the new version that we just installed. This one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and test it out. I'm going to say play. And it's going to give me this warning. Are you are you, you're about to play Minecraft in addition? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to say, okay, play. And it works right here. I've got... I have a bunch of mods already installed, so that's going to give me a little bit of a heads up, but I'm going to go ahead and install mods. Now we're going to go ahead and shut this off and we're going to go ahead and open up our browser and we're going to go to curseforge.com, curseforge.com. You're going to click on Minecraft. Look at it. They do mods for a bunch of other games as well. Um, you can click on Minecraft and you're going to click on mods and we're going to change this version over here and we're going to scroll down to, where is it? Uh, 1.19.3 and it's going to update for us and there are a few mods here that are pretty useful like journey maps and mouse tweak and a bunch of others and i'll show you which ones i downloaded but i'm going to show you how to download a single mod right now we're going to download let's go to let's download journey maps i click on journey maps and then i'm going to click on files and i want the latest file so i'm going to make sure that this is the updated the most recent 1.19.3 and make sure the game version is matching some mods are not updated to the cur most current version of minecraft it's just the way it is so this one happens to be i'm going to click on download it's going to count down for a little while then it's going to give me a dialog box to save as well it's, it's going to go to my desktop as well and a few seconds later it will appear right here there it is and now i'm going to go ahead and put that into my downloads folder but I'm gonna, first I'm going to go through and download a bunch of other mods and their uh, pertinent libraries. And you'll see what I mean by libraries in just a second. Like if I download uh, Waystones, Waystones requires Balm. So I'll have to download the version of Balm as well. So I'll download those really fast and I will put them all in that folder and I'll show you what that is in just a second. Okay, I downloaded a bunch of mods, um, including their libraries. So I've got a 
good handful of mods over here that I want to install. Now, if, if I have any issues, it'll let me know. Sometimes mods will clash with each other and they just don't work very well with, with each other. So we'll find that out in just a minute. But now we just need to open up our Minecraft folder. I'm going to hit Windows, the Windows key and R, or I think it's Command Shift G for a Mac. And I'm going to type in this string right here. It's going to take me to my dot Minecraft folder. And in here, there's going to be a mods folder. After you installed Forge, Forge will have installed this mods folder. If it's not in here, just right click somewhere else and say create new folder and call it MODS. No caps, no nothing. MODS. And that will be uh, good to go. It'll recognize it exactly the same. We're not going to do that because we already have one. And then into our mods folder, you're going to take all those mods and you're going to take them and drag them into there. I have my mods in that instance folder that I showed you guys earlier. So I'm going to go put those in there, but nonetheless, you're going to just take these and you're going to drag them right into that folder and it'll be ready to run. Minecraft will recognize where they're at. You can go ahead and close that folder once all the files are in there. And I'm going to go ahead and run Minecraft now with those mods installed. If there's any issues right now, Minecraft is going to let me know. No crash. We got it good to go. Awesome. So we downloaded all the proper libraries. If there's missing libraries, it'll say this mod requires this library. You'll have to go back and find it in CurseForge and download the proper version that it's asking for. All right, we're good to go. It looks like we can go ahead and run Minecraft and say create new world. And there it is. Journey Maps is running in the top right corner. Got some new animals over there. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. Uh, I'd be happy to entertain those questions. I usually answer them fairly quickly uh, unless the, the video ends up getting a, a little bit later, older in the in its age, then I tend to answer uh, just whenever I see them uh, pop up. So if you do have questions, please uh, be specific. If the game crashes on you, specify when it crashes, after you installed a mod and so on down the line, whatever it may be, uh, a specific mod made it crash or a number of mods made it crash or whatever that is. Let me know specifically what it is that, that caused your game to, to fail if it does fail. Or let me know if it worked out for you. I love I love good stories too when I hear uh, I got to play mods for the first time in my, um, in my life or I finally get to start jumping into mods again or whatever the case may be. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys learned something new or you just simply uh, like, like watching my videos, uh, feel free to click that like button down below and share this uh, with your friends and family. Trying to grow the channel a little bit, starting off the new year uh, with a bang, hopefully uh, getting a bunch of videos uploaded. So until next time, guys, see ya.